In this video, I'm going to show you how I use patina gel to give an antique patina to my sterling silver chains. The first thing you want to do is to wear some gloves. Now the gloves that I'm wearing are just a basic latex glove that you can buy from Walmart or, or your local shop. I'm going to make sure my gloves are on and then this is the patina gel that I'm using. It's from Cool Tools and I'm placing a few drops into a glass bowl or Pyrex bowl of warm water. Now you don't want the water to be boiling because that will release some gases with the patina gel that aren't very healthy for you. So you want to make sure that it's warm or hot water but just not boiling water. And then I'm going to take my sterling silver chains and put them right into the solution. I'm going to swish it around a bit to evenly distribute the patina gel. Next I'm going to use baking soda and I have in a separate bowl just some cool water and I'm going to put some baking soda into the next little bowl and I'm going to use that here in a bit when we're done patinaing our chains. Now you can check them every so often every minute or two and see how dark you want them. It, after just about 30 seconds they're going to look a little brown, just a little bit aged. And anytime you get the color that you want, immediately put them into your baking soda and water solution so that will stop the patina process. Now you can see the chains are a bit darker. They've actually got a little bit of a blue hue to them, a blue or a dark red. And I'm not quite wanting that color. I don't want blues and greens and reds. So I'm going to put it back in the solution and let it darken even more. Swish it around a little bit. Now you can always add more patina gel if you're finding that um, the darkening has kind of stalled. You can add more patina gel or you can add even some more warm water. Now the chains are, are getting darker, they're more what I want, so I'm going to put them into my bowl, again with cool water and baking soda. And this is going to stop the patina process and neutralize the patina gel. At this point you can take your gloves off if you want to and I'm going to add a little bit more baking soda. It does kind of dissolve when you put your chains in there, so if you want to add a little, more, little bit more baking soda, you can do that. After we're completely done with the patina gel, we can add a little baking soda to the warm water and patina gel just to neutralize it, and then you can dilute it with water and pour it down the drain. And here are our chains. They're all oxidized, ready to go, and they look beautiful. I love this look. Now all I need to do is rinse them off in some clean water, and pat them dry and they're ready to go. Thanks so much. I hope you're having a beautiful day and I'll catch you in the next video. For more great videos and resources go to makesilverjewelry.com and I will see you there.